Hey everyone, my name is Alex with Systems Refined, and today I want to show you how to completely remove a team member from your organization. If you have a workspace, this video won't apply to you, but I will be creating one for you as well. So I get a lot of questions asking how to completely remove somebody from their organization. They, they don't have any tasks, uh, they were deleted from all the teams, but they still show up on search results or even on a drop-down menu. So if I go into a project and select this assignee, um, they will still show up here. So for instance, I want to remove Derek Stein. He is not part of the team, he um, has no tasks assigned to him, but yet he is still here. It's because he was never fully deprovisioned from the organization. And I'm going to show you how to actually do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you have to re-invite him back into the team. Now I don't know for sure if they get an email, but I but if they do, it's not a big deal. They don't have to accept it. Um, if anything, you can just say that you were cleaning out your Asana, and this was the only way to re completely remove them from from your team. So go ahead, and you would invite them back in. And once they show up, you can go ahead and click on the three dots, edit team settings, go to members, click on remove, remove access, and then deprovision. And then now Derek Stein is gone. He, he is no longer a part of that organization. And I can test that by clicking on this assignee button. And you can see that he is no longer in this dropdown. And also, if you search for him, Oops. If you search for him, he doesn't show up. So that is how you will completely remove somebody from their team. Earlier I said that an invitation email will get sent out when you invite them into the team. And I actually don't think that happens anymore. And the reason why I say that is because Derek Stein is a, a, an account that I created and um, when I invited him into this organization, yes, I got an invite email, but when I send him invites to any of these teams, I don't get any invite emails. And this is the uh, account that I've been using and I have not received a single email and I have done this probably 10 times. What I think happens is if they are already part of the organization, they will not receive an invite to the other teams within that organization. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, go ahead and click on that like button and click on subscribe so you don't miss out on any new Asana Tips videos.